history of 1993. And off goes the Benetton now. Is it uh, is it for Tracy or is it it's for Tracy? Ricardo for Tracy has got it all wrong. He's wiped off the front wing of the Benetton, so that's another certain retirement. He was trying to get inside Christian Fittipaldi's Minardi Ford. He runs wide and clobbers the back of the car, does he? Well, he hasn't done it yet. He's oh my goodness! He mounts uh, the Minardi and. Uh, well, Jonathan, you know about this. What on earth happened? Well, it seems pretty extraordinary. Clearly, we had contact there. It looked perhaps as though the, as, as though the Minardi uh, missed a gear and momentarily slowed, and that let the Benetton ride up the back of, 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 of the Minardi. But it looked pretty odd. It looked almost as if uh, Petrosi pushed him, which I quite can't believe that was the case. So I would suspect a missed gear from the Minardi. From Christian Fittipaldi. Here's a replay. Well, let's see. Uh, Petrosi pulling out to the right to try and go through and ob obviously there was uh, a diminution in the differential of the speeds, if I can put it that way. All of a sudden, one goes slower than the other, and into the pits for a new nose cone. There it is, number six, Ricardo Patrese, the most experienced Grand Prix driver of them all. Here's a bit of experience that uh, I doubt if he's had quite like that before, although I well remember his appalling crash in the Williams at Portugal when he took off and flew through the air at 180 miles an hour and, and got away with it. Rejoins, and while all this has been going on,